the I'm sorry. There are certain emotions you'll have in a fling you've probably never had in a marriage. Well, plenty of women who have kids. Three kids, four kids. But guess what? Her vagina is doubled on more than a woman who has no kids. So stop coming up with the kids thing. It's not kids. When you want to have fun, you will find time for your fun. That's true. It's down to how much energy do you want to put into it. Yeah. If, if humans put in half the effort they do in making money into their sex lives, mm -hmm. I'd probably be out of business. Mm -hmm. Fact. Yeah. But we put business and all the other things, career, what car, where we want to live mm. before the sex. The sex becomes a by the way because you don't make it a priority. Mm. There is procreational sex. Mm. There's recreational sex. Recreational sex is what I teach my clients. Mm. It's, it's, it's like when you decide you're taking your kids to a play center to play. Mm -hmm. That's recreational sex. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. The problem is we have too much lovey-dovey sex. Problem. Mm. Lovey-dovey mm. is where... The connection is stale. Okay. Oh, okay. no. It's, mm -hmm. it, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's based on a, I need to have sex with you. Mm -hmm. It's not that I have to have it or I really want to do it. Mm -hmm. I need to have it so that there's harmony in the house. Oh, right. Ooh, the, oh, that's, that's the lovey yeah. talking about. Mm -hmm. the, if, if, even the guys who are having an affair, mm -hmm. there's no one on the planet who does not have some kind of affection towards somebody. Yes, we try and make them look like the, you know, it's it's just fun. It's mm. an affair. It's a fling. The men who understand vaginas can tell you that I know how to make her orgasm, not because I'm good in bed. First of all, good in bed is for small boys. Don't be good in bed. Know the vagina. It's as simple as that. Good in bed is for boys. Mm. Know the vagina is for men who understand the vagina. Our biggest competitor right now is not other men. It's women. Men can learn a few things from women. There are more women in Kenya who can give other women orgasms than there are men, fact. Oh. And I'm saying that as a guy who has seen, I've now taught what, almost 6,300 6, vaginas now. You have done what? I've taught 6,300 vaginas. You've taught? Taught. Mm. How you, to orgasm. you mean women? Yes, women. Yes. Mm. yes. Well, they're the ones with vaginas. But I teach the vagina. See, I don't teach the woman, it's the vagina. If she had something else other than the vagina, for example, if where the vagina was, if she had a microphone, I don't know how to make microphone squirt. So I teach the vagina. Mm. It's not an insult. It's a fact. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you, if you go to an ANT guy, he's dealing with your nose and your ears and stuff. So I have to focus on the organ that I'm dealing with, which is the vagina. Yeah. I'm in a position where a woman will call me up and ask me, there's a deal that I need to make and it's abroad. And the guy who needs to sign it has told me that you need to find a way to be away from home for two weeks. But when you get home, you're going to have a $250,000 contract. And the principle here is that they're going to do something. Give for me something weeks. for something. Yes. And by the way, her husband is, has been looped in to this deal. Eh? The husband's waiting for her to come home with this deal. But not knowing there's this other... But not knowing... What needs to happen for the deal to be Get out standard. of here. She's not asking for my permission. She's just asking, what do I think? Wow. And to be honest, Moses, I, I don't use emotions when I'm answering people. I have to ask her, for you to be, un for you to be asking me this question, you're looking for some kind of validation because you've already made the choice. Mm. You're going for $250,000. Just a rubber stamp now. So you just wanted to hear my opinion because I'm not going to judge you. Wow. So it doesn't get better, it gets worse. And to be honest, the logical things are, I'm sure you've done worse for free. Ooh. You've done worse because... For fun. You took two bottles of wine instead of one glass. And you got home and you had to tidy yourself up before you joined your husband in the bedroom Whoa. over glasses of wine. Which so, is much less. Yeah, so I'm not seeing $250,000 slipping. So if that's what, what? you wanted to hear. This is you, the stuff you're picking up. Yes. Why is there so much rivalry between peop two people who say we are ride or die, our love is more powerful <laughs> than anyone else's love? Why is it that these two people can go for six weeks, eight weeks without talking? I'm dealing with such clients right now. 
I'm dealing with a client who tells me we've been sleeping in the same bed. We haven't spoken for three months. What? We just pitana in the house like this traffic lights. <laughs> we haven't spoken. Wow. And guess what's driving that? Attitude. If she's not talking to me, if he's yeah. not talking to me. So someone has to break. Are those two friends? No. They're coexisting because <laughs> their foundation was probably weak. Sometimes I have to take somebody back to when you met, mm. what was your first perception of what things could be with this person? And I've met so many people who are in marriage who will say, to be honest, when we met, I knew this was going to be short term. But there's another woman, let's assume in Compass, while she was exploring, one or two guys went down on her. And she was like, oh my God, I love this. Then she eventually hooks up with a guy who now she calls my main guy or my husband, whatever it is. Mm. And he does not go down on her. Her issue is, I already know what this looks like, how it feels, but you're not providing. The unfortunate thing is this. Because apparently men run the world. We'll tell a woman, now you need to be, because you are with your husband, you should be happy with whatever he gives you. Yet, the husband, who has a wife, who cannot give him a blowjob, and he was used to blowjobs. He met, you know, degree holders in blowjobs when he was in campus. He demands for a blowjob. Should he receive a blowjob? Society says yes. Why? Because he's a man. Those are double standards. So it's as simple as this. I'm not asking men to suck vagina, but we will do it for you. Everything I thought a man is supposed to be is not it. It's just not it. It's not. It mutates so fast. Moses, you can be the most decent. You know what decent looks like and appropriate and faithful and loyal and loving. And you are basically labeled as a simp, weak and pathetic. The thing is, a good guy, when he turns into a bad guy, he eats all the other bad guys for breakfast. Get out of here. The original bad guy will never be as bad as a good guy. Get out of here. You see, the good guy knows all the tricks of a bad guy. All the uh -huh. tricks. It's just he never used them. Because he chose to be straight. Okay. Let me give myself as an example. Yeah. There's no field I cannot. I, I can eat bad guys for breakfast because I know all the lines that they come up with. I know how to engage them. I know how to give them erectile dysfunction. What? But on the other hand, I have a sweet model, Maurice, who wants to take a woman out for dinner and just concentrate on her. And by to be honest, I'm not a believer of forgive because he's not going to do it again. Because chances are he will do it again. You see, he's had a taste of ice cream. And usually when you have a nice flavor that you like, it stays with you for a while. The husband at this point, whatever happened between him and his colleague just happened and stuff like that. We don't know how many times it's happened. Mm -hmm. Maybe this was the first time. If it was the first time, it just happened. Mm -hmm. But he could literally be happier in the marriage than her. Wait, he, what? In, He's no, having no, every... He has no, no, a marriage no, 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 no. He could be though. happier in regards to... Yes, I cheated... But my sex life in my marriage is okay. not as bad. Do you know why? Because he could be that guy who, for me, sex is good. He gets to ejaculate, oh. but her, she never gets to oh, orgasm, okay. but she has to pretend to orgasm. orgasm. Well, that's so sad, man. Mm. Yes, but it happens. You have to look at all the tweaks and all the probabilities of some of these things. The thing is this. You can leave, but it doesn't mean greener pastures, especially mm -hmm. if your pool of men is the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the thing is this, I always find it strange that the focus here is on the man cheated. That colleague in the office, there's a high chance that if she's a grown woman, she probably has a husband. Mm -hmm. So whatever men do, women do. And nowadays I hear women do better. Yeah. People who think sex is special are having very boring sex. Sex is not special. It's like when you have a bottle of whiskey, you're going to drink it at some point, you're going to pee it out, true or false. True. Sex has an expiry date. I always find it strange when people say, how come people are not satisfied? Uh, how come you're only applying satisfaction to sex? How so? we, we've never been satisfied. We always eat. Every day we look forward to eating something. True or false? True. Why have we not been satisfied? Can I give you a really nice meal? And then I tell you, you know what? I need you to be satisfied for two weeks. Don't eat for two weeks. Will you be happy? Mm. So why is it we use that word when it comes to sex? And the truth is this, a lot of people who meet, 
their criteria of having a follow-up meet where they end up married is not based on sexuality. So what I found is a lot of people are incompatible, but they are together. 